Hi, I'm Doug from First Tech. In today's segment of My First Tech Academy, we're gonna be talking about diodes. So there's just a few things we need to know about diodes. This video should be fairly straight and to the point. What I've got here is a diode illustration printed out so you can see the difference between the anode and the cathode. So what I'd like to do is demonstrate what a diode does and how it does it. So with this example, I have three different size diodes here. The different size diodes will determine how much current can be passed through the diode. So the smallest diode that you'll see here, this is a one amp diode. So you're limited to one amp of current passing through this device. The middle size piece is a three amp diode. This is obviously as well limited to three amps of current. And then this largest diode that I have here is a six amp diode. These are the three standard sizes you will see in an installation bay. So what I'm demonstrating here is what a diode does. A diode allows you to only have current flow in one direction across the anode and cathode. So you'll see in this illustration, the multimeter is not reading a full 12 volts, which is being supplied through our black lead being attached to the ground, our red lead being attached to 12 volts. You'll see that if the 12 volt input is headed towards the stripe side, so if the stripe side is towards the feed, it does not allow current to pass through the diode. However, if we were to reverse this diode and send the 12 volt feed to the non-stripe side, you will see now you have voltage. This allows current to pass through the diode. This is on the positive side of the circuit. The opposite is true on the negative side. So what we're gonna do now is we'll take this diode and I'm just using the six amp diode as an example because it's the largest physical size. So it's easiest to see. So now if we do the same thing here on the negative side of the circuit and we feed to the non-stripe side, you'll see our multimeter again shows no voltage going through the diode. However, if we reverse this and apply negative to the stripe side of the diode, you'll see full voltage on our multimeter. This is just a quick illustration of how a diode works and what it does in a circuit. And hopefully this pictorial diagram, as well as this demonstration will allow you to understand how they work and where they'll be used in a circuit. It just restricts current flow to one direction. Thank you.